the gear I'm using tonight is my usual Red Cat 51 from William Ap uh, Apix. William Apix. Oh, uh, fry with the uh, bear, bear, bear. Well, hello everyone. Well, tonight, and hopefully for the next few nights, I'm going to be capturing a reflection nebula in the constellation Cepheus, known as NGC 7023, also known as the Iris Nebula. So, you are more than welcome to join me. Welcome everyone, and of course, welcome back to Cosmos Astro. I didn't really go with the plan, in fact it was an absolute wreck, uh, the, the date wasn't great so I've since then I've scrapped all that data and I'm just starting fresh. Um, no moon out tonight which is an absolute bonus and because this is a broadband target I'm not sticking any, so, well I am sticking a filter in, it's going to be my IR cup filter but apart from that unfiltered. So it isn't all about the Iris Nebula tonight although I do want a good run on it. I'm testing out my homemade pier that I made a couple of days ago. So yeah, it's the maiden voyage and I cannot wait. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, I did uh, manage to get pulled online last night. Um, it, I didn't do any imaging. It was uh, quite cloudy to be fair, but uh, yeah, there was enough to actually see Polaris and get it, get it sorted. So it'd be interesting to see if it is actually pulled online still. I can't see why it wouldn't be, or it'd be pretty close. It did have a tarpaulin sort of draped on it, but you know, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the whole night goes. The gear I'm using is my usual Red Cat 51 from William Optics, um, a 533MC Pro, my one shot colour camera, filter I've already talked about. A couple of extra items on there as well. Of course, I've finally started guiding after about three and a half years of uh, astrophotography. Better late than never, I suppose. Um, about time I jumped on that wagon. And I've also got a nice uh, red box on the front here. Of course, it's the SI Air Plus. I've started using that. But as you can probably tell, it's getting dark. <laughs> Pretty sharpish, which means it's going to be showtime soon. I can't wait. So, I've uh, got a few more things to do, but obviously, uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to make myself a lovely cup of tea um, and then switch everything on and get ready to rock and roll. See you soon. I've got my tablet here. Um, as you can see, this is the screen, uh, the main screen for the ESI Air app. Uh, first things first, let's go to PA. Just pull the alignment and just press play on that. So, what's going to do now is going to take three images uh, at three seconds. That's all of each image. And then it's going to let me know if I need to adjust anything. So, as you can see, uh, to be fair, that is um, pretty good, to be honest. It hasn't moved much. So this is one of the benefits of having a permanent setup, to be honest. Uh, pull the line between um, next to no time. Now, of course, I've had the tarp over, um, so I possibly could knock it, but when I get this observation built up, you know, it's uh, possibly not gonna have to pull the line. Uh, you know, maybe double check it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go down to preview. And I'm going to uh, select target. All right, so NGC 7023. We're going to go to on that. Okay, she's slow in there. The Iris Nebula is it's quite high up already, and it just gets better and better. It's just going to get higher and higher. Quite a good uh, target for me this time of year. So just plate solving the image. It's going to do its adjustments. Make sure center all right there she is so if i just uh zoom in here that's the iris nebula nebula there the uh bright point in the center so uh what now i'm going to do i'm going to start looking at uh let's have a look so i want to so i want to pick my uh my auto run uh let's delete that so I'm going to go for the live frames. For tonight, we're going to go for two minutes, uh, which is 120 seconds. Um, 
trying to think how many I want to do. Let's go for 80. And I'm just going to okay at that. Let's jump on there. Uh, I'm going to go to the guide and I'm going to set that away. So let's calibrate now. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, let this do, do its thing. And once it's settled down, I'll uh, update you see, and see how it's going. So I'm, I'm going to be careful here because it's a bit of a, a, bit of a building site. There's rubble everywhere. Oh. So we're uh, underway, uh, first exposure. Uh, while waiting here, I'll just uh, let you know the, the guiding equipment that I've actually got. So uh, the, the camera, it's a 290mm Mini from ZWO, and the scope, it's uh, also from ZWO, the um, 30 F4 Mini scope. Apparently it's a good combo, you know, um, as far as I've been told. Um, but you, of course, I'm no, <laughs> I'm no expert. Um, but you know, it, it does the job. It seems to be working fine. Guidance up good, 0.37. And we've got about 20 seconds to go. I always like this bit because uh, you get to see that first exposure, see how it's looking. Yeah, three, two, one. Should load first image up. Let's see. All right. Stars are looking good. See a bit of detail there. That's looking all right. Uh, I'm just having a look at it. Uh, let's knock this light off. It's looking a bit light. I'm not sure. I suppose we'll see how it goes. little update I'll let you know what has been happening and what I'm doing now so I've just just finished up on the uh, um, flat frames there so I'm ready to close down shut down shop uh, I love this type of one all the birds chirping away so I'll phone them on about 20 minutes ago there was a bat circle <laughs> wonder if I've got any of my images earlier who knows I'll have to check that. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to shut this down, jump in the kitchen and let you know how the whole night went because it's a bit chilly out here to be fair. Well, it uh, seems to be getting colder. I am really tired. I'm ready for my bed. <laughs> so last night was a bit of a, a bit touch go with the uh, clouds, despite the clear forecast. You know, I, I was never going to get a clean night, was I? I live in the northeast of England. Uh, so, pff, hey, whatever. I'll shoot through sucker holes all night. Uh, so what usable data I've got is, well, I'll find out later, I suppose. Hopefully the next couple of nights is forecast as promised and I'll, I'll get some more data and it won't really matter. Um, as for the maiden voyage for the pier, absolutely over the moon with it. Um, you know, not really a test, sticking a red cat and a few accessories on it, but, you know, nevertheless, I was still happy with it. Um, got to use it for the first time. Guiding was great, apart from when the clouds were going over, it was going nuts, which is normal, of course, but uh, I was getting maybe 0.3, 0.4, happy with that. <clears throat> As for the observatory build, actually, uh, I'll be laying that concrete in the next week or so, I think. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. My back isn't looking forward to it, but it's one step further to getting that observatory Built. I'm going to leave it there before I start waffling along because I'm tired, I always do it. Um, hopefully get some enough data for a nice image, hope you enjoy the image, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much everyone for watching and on that note, take care everyone, clear skies and of course, bye for now.